uh, Robert E. Lee and his wife Mary stayed there for 30 years before the Civil War started. After the Civil War, Robert E. Lee became the president of Washington College, known today as Washington Lee University in Lexington, Virginia. He died in 1870. He's buried in the chapel of Washington Lee University. His wife Mary Custis Lee died three years later. She's also buried in the chapel as well as Robert E. Lee's faithful horse traveler. Here on your left, this is the Vietnam section of Arlington Cemetery. More than 58,000 men lost their lives during the Vietnam War. And you're now looking at headstones in perfect alignment, symbolizing our military standing at attention for all eternity. And coming up next on your right is a tall bay headstone belonging to the 27th President of the United States, William Howard Taft, and also First Lady Helen Karen Taft. And it's coming into view now. There it is. And here on your left, this is you'll see stones on the headstone of Megar Evers. Megar Evers was a civil rights activist from Jackson, Mississippi. He served in the United States Army. He took part in the invasion of Normandy on D-Day during World War II. And for his gallant service, he was awarded two bronze stars. Megar Evers was assassinated on June 12, 1963, in, his, in front of his home in Jackson, Mississippi. I'd like to leave you with these words spoken by our 16th president, Abraham Lincoln, when he dedicated the military.